in the heart of Zambia's Luangwa Valley, lives a wise old female leopard. She's reigned over her territory for more than a decade. But now she's in trouble. Her neighbors, the lions, are making her life hell, stealing her kills. During the day, it's impossible to hunt. She's on everyone's radar. Ah! And things don't get much easier after dark. For the first time, a military-grade thermal camera follows a leopard's nighttime struggles and captures behavior never seen before. Finally, the world of these secretive nocturnal predators is revealed. As the days pass, the leopard is pushed to the brink of starvation. She'll need all her skill and determination to survive. Meet Kamuti. At 13 years of age, she's one of the oldest known leopards in the African bush. Kamuti means twig in the local language after her thin, frail frame. Her age is beginning to tell. She's not as fast or strong as she used to be, and she's struggling to catch prey. She hasn't eaten for more than a week and is now having to hunt in broad daylight. She may be old, but she's a perfectly designed predator. Her forward-facing eyes are set slightly apart, enabling her to judge the exact distance between her and her prey. With hearing five times more sensitive than ours and an acute sense of smell, she doesn't miss a thing. But a little elephant shrew is hardly worth the effort. Kamuti lives in South Luangwa National Park in Zambia. An area of unspoiled wilderness at the southern end of Africa's Great Rift Valley. Though she lives a solitary life, she shares her home with a huge range of animals. Large and small. Hunters. And the hunted. It's a land of open plains. and ebony groves. This diverse mix of habitats supports a dazzling variety of life. More than 60 species of mammals and 400 species of birds. It's the perfect hunting ground for this experienced predator. Kamuti has reigned over five square kilometers of prime territory here for 10 years. Antelope are her favorite prey. Among them, puku and impala. But despite their abundance, she's finding it hard to get a decent meal. 
And that's not just because of her age. She has to contend with some neighbors from hell. The Insefu Pride. They share Kamuti's territory. Lions are the only truly social cats. Unlike Kamuti, these predators have strength in numbers. 14 big cats. A force to be reckoned with. The Insefu lions are the bane of Kamuti's life. They frequently steal her hard-earned kills. And if they see her, they won't hesitate to attack. This isn't because they see her as prey. It's to protect the youngest members of the pride. The Insefu lions have recently welcomed two new cubs into their family. Just over two months old, they're starting to venture out into the wild. But when their mother goes hunting, they're left alone and are extremely vulnerable. Many cubs are killed and even eaten by leopards. It's a rivalry that cuts both ways. Though Kamuti's a threat to the cubs, She's no match for their mother. And she knows it. Weighing 130 kilograms, the lioness is more than three times Kamuti's weight. With lions on the prowl, she'll spend the rest of the day well hidden. Sunset, a huge flock of quailia gathers together to roost. These tiny sparrow like birds huddle together as the evening begins to cool. In the pitch black, a military-grade camera that senses heat rather than light reveals a magical world. The nocturnal creatures emerge to lay claim to the night. Honey badgers forage for small mammals reptiles and insects, guided by their keen sense of smell. Up in the trees, a wood owl is on the hunt. And bush babies awake from their slumber. The wilderness comes alive with creatures from the tiny elephant shrew to Luangwa's largest mammal. Millions of hot, thread-like capillaries transform the elephant's skin into a moving work of art. Puku and other antelope are on high alert. And with good reason. 
Kamuti's excellent night vision gives her the advantage. This is the first time a leopard's every move has been followed after dark. Because the revolutionary camera picks up heat, not color, it doesn't register Kamuti's spotted coat. But right now, she has no need for camouflage. She's taking full advantage of the cover of darkness. Impala, her favorite prey. She must stay downwind. She's not as fast as she used to be. She needs to close the distance before launching her attack. She's missed, but she keeps going. Success. A fully grown male impala. Weighing 60 kilograms, it's almost twice her weight. What her aging body lacks in speed, she makes up for with experience. A meal this size will keep her going for almost a week. if she can eat her fill. She's nervous. Eating out in the open is risky. Scavengers are always on the prowl. But her hunger is stronger than her fear. One of her neighbors, a lion from the Ensefu Pride, has picked up the scent and closes in. Kamuti knows not to put up a fight. She can't risk getting injured. But the lioness isn't the only thief out tonight. It's small consolation for Kamuti. whole night's hunting, and Kamuti's patience and skill only earned her a few mouthfuls. She often loses her kills to lions, 
disappointment is nothing new. Exhausted, she gives in to sleep. As dawn breaks, Kamuti is still trying to rest. But flies are disturbing her peace. It's vital she regains her strength. But it seems as if everything is against her. Peace at last. Meanwhile, the lions are also doing what lions do best, sleeping. These top predators always seem to be relaxed. Females can sleep up to 18 hours a day. With no risk from a higher predator and a diet rich in calories, these carnivores have no need to expend unnecessary energy, alert and constantly eating. Males, if well fed, will sleep right around the clock. A full 24 hours. Thanks to Kamuti's kill, this male is out for the count. While the big cats sleep in the heat of the day, other animals take their chance to venture out into the open. Young baboons make the most of their freedom. It all seems like enormous fun. But there is a serious side to these antics. Baboons, like lions, are highly social animals. Playing is all part of learning where each member fits in the pecking order. Their place in the troop's hierarchy will play a key role in their later lives. Adult baboons are never off their guard, and rightly so. 
Nearby is a large male leopard. One fat cat. A male's territory usually overlaps with a number of females. Although he's right inside Kamuti's patch, he's no threat to her. It's the animals below that should be worried. Baboons and impala stick together for good reason. While antelope have the keenest sense of smell and hearing, baboons have the better eyesight. And the perfect vantage points. Teamwork pays off. They spot the leopard. <laughs> All this is more than he can take. Baboons are right to be wary. They're one of the many animals on a leopard's hit list. They won't give up until he's out of sight. He'll have to find somewhere more peaceful to rest. Kamuti doesn't have the luxury of a daytime nap. She is still desperately hungry. Her last full meal was eight days ago. Though she can last up to two weeks without eating, she is visibly thinner and weaker. Daytime hunting is a last resort for leopards. Less than one in 20 hunts are successful. But Kamuti has no choice. It's midday and the temperature soars to 40 degrees Celsius. Hardly the best time for an energy-sapping stalk and chase. A herd of impala is wandering through her territory. It's an opportunity she can't afford to miss. Impala can run at 56 kilometers an hour over long distances. They're by no means easy prey. In broad daylight, it'll be tough to surprise them. She'll need to get within six meters before she can launch an attack. 
the closer, the better. But the Impala are out in the open, and they're with a troop of keen-eyed baboons. Relying on experience, she patiently sits and waits for them to come to her. This is more like it. Now's her chance to close the distance. It's not just impala and baboons that are on the lookout. There are eyes and ears everywhere. Tree squirrels have some of the keenest eyes in the bush. She's been spotted. Kamuti growls in irritation. The Impala hear the warning. Kamuti is well and truly rumbled. And the hunt is over before it really began. Life for a solitary predator is tough. She holds her tail aloft like a flag, showing she's no longer in hunting mode. But the puku aren't taking any chances. They group together as if to shepherd her away. But their bravery has its limits. heat of the midday sun, the bush is quiet. A herd of giraffe heads down to the river to drink. Legs spread wide, they're at their most vulnerable. But they know that the lions will be asleep. Other animals take advantage of the lion slumber and get a little rest of their own. But one predator is still hunting. Kamuti's hunger drives her on. This is her favorite hunting spot. A dried up river in the heart of her territory. It runs through a clearing full of puku and impala. Down in the gully, she's hidden from view, even in broad daylight. She'll only strike when prey come close to the gully's edge. While she watches and waits, the hunter becomes the hunted. 
a lioness from the Ansefu pride, is on her trail. Kamuti is unaware of the danger she's in. The lioness's gait intensifies. Her top speed is 58 kilometers an hour. almost as fast as Kamuti's. stands guard, confident she has Kamuti trapped. But Kamuti is wily and sneaks off unnoticed. Once again, she must hide until darkness returns. The baboons are settling down for the night. Time for some grooming. This is as much about strengthening bonds as it is about removing parasites. And strong bonds are all the more vital when predators are about. Other hunters are on the prowl. A crocodile can smell a carcass hundreds of meters away. A genet cat hunts for insects. Leopards like Kamuti have the most varied diet of all the big cats in Africa, eating more than 30 different prey species. Kamuti will hunt animals as large as impala, down to those the size of a hare, or occasionally, even smaller. Almost anything is fair game though a fully grown hippo is a little out of her league. An Egyptian goose? 
Well, beggars can't be choosers. Timing is everything. Such an incredible hunt has never been filmed before. Watching again, it's clear just how close she got. At 13 years old, she's an elderly cat and not quite as fit as she once was. In her younger days, the outcome might have been different. She heads back out on the hunt. The Yinsefu Pride is also looking for a kill. Together, they're a formidable team. And this time, the hippo must defend itself. <laughs> when in doubt, head back to the river. In the south of Kamuti's territory, the big male leopard is on a baboon hunt. Baboon's night vision is similar to ours. Vulnerable on the ground, the safest thing to do is to roost as high up as possible. The tallest trees are in the ebony groves. Time to sleep. The leopard knows exactly where they are. He's now right in the middle of the baboons. It's almost pitch black. This is all they can see, but they can hear something.
the baboon sound the alarm. But it's too late for one female member of the troop. Climbing up a tree is one thing. Getting down is another. Especially with 11 kilos of baboon in your mouth. He's forced to release his kill as he drops to the ground. The commotion draws in other hungry predators, hyenas. He'll have to eat quickly. The next day, thousands of carmine bee-eaters emerge from their riverbank nests on the edge of Kamuti's territory. Each new day brings new hunting opportunities for the old, experienced leopard, Kamuti. But despite her best efforts, she hasn't had a decent meal for nine days. It's critical that she eats soon. She returns to her favorite hunting ground. The antelope are right out in the open. She knows there's no point trying here. She needs to be down in the gully. She's in luck, an impala drops down into the dried up river. Just what she needs. This time, there are no lions to distract her. Now, it's down to stealth, speed, and above all, timing. But there's something she can't control.
A sudden change in wind direction may have given her scent away. But if there's one thing Kamuti has learned, it's perseverance. She moves further up the gully, slowly does it. The Impala edge ever closer. Here's her chance. Success at last. A good sized meal in the nick of time. This will keep her going for a few days. Years of experience have made Kamuti the hunter that she is today. Cunning and skill, patience and determination are key to her ongoing survival. As is her favorite hunting ground, where she can be invisible, even in daylight. But Kamuti's age is catching up with her. Every hunt is getting that little bit harder. And it won't be long before she's hungry again. This is the life of a leopard in the African wilderness.